You've probably heard of RFID. It's all over the news. Global retailers, shipping companies, even the U.S. Department of Defense are using it now to define the future of supply chain and inventory management. If you haven't heard about how this tiny technology is making big changes in the way the world identifies, tracks, and manages everything from pistachios to engine parts, you might want to get out more often. If you really don't have a clue about RFID, no worries. I didn't either, until I met Miles. This guy showed me how Intermec has been an innovator and global standards leader in the development of RFID for the real world. And that opened my eyes to how this stuff is going to help companies and careers grow. So, now it's your turn to learn. Thanks for helping me out, Miles, but please do me a favor, skip the geek speak. Because to me, RFID means really freaking out, I don't get it. I know it's a bit cloudy right now, but by the end of the day, it'll be clear as a bell. Now, if you want to learn about RFID, you can start by understanding what the letters really mean. Repeat after me, radio frequency identification. Radio frequency identification. Okay, I still don't get it. You will. We're taking this road trip to explore how real businesses are using RFID to win big time. So open your eyes and ears, and you'll probably be able to figure it out. RFID uses radio waves to transfer information from a tag, where data has been stored, to a reader. Readers can be attached to things like loading dock doors, handheld computers, even mounted on forklifts. With a forklift reader, the driver just has to get near the boxes to know what's in them. Plus, the tags, not another employee, tell the driver exactly where every pallet needs to go. But isn't that what we use barcodes for? Sure, but RFID readers don't have to be aimed directly at a barcode. They just need to be positioned near the tags. So now the driver doesn't even have to leave his seat to scan stuff. There's lots of places where RFID is just a better choice, like conveyor belt setups. Unlike barcodes, there's no worries about nitpicky stuff like which way the boxes have to face to be properly read. Hey, it's kind of like that parking lot gate. Because we have an RFID tag on our windshield, the gate opens automatically and we go right on through. Exactly. RFID showing up all over the place, like right here in my ID badge. I mean, sure, it opens doors, but only certain doors for certain people. That keeps everything secure. Security is a great example, although it's not our focus these days. But before we talk about today and the future, you could use a little RFID history. The basic idea behind RFID has been around since about World War II. Back then it was used to help determine friend from foe. See, both sides had radar, but neither knew whose planes they were looking at on those tiny screens. Then they invented a way for radar to carry info about the plane back to the ground. And that led to research on how radio waves could carry all kinds of data. Thanks for the history lesson, but what does this have to do with RFID? Good question. Think of those airplanes as containers. Intermec has developed practical RFID applications that could be attached to the inside or outside of all kinds of products or containers. So we're not tracking individual things, like the plane. It's about tracking the pallets full of pecans, the crates crammed with computers, the trays full of didgeridoos that are inside the plane. Didgeridoos? Use your imagination. And I'll use mine. Okay, imagine this. Intermec played a huge part in the development of RFID and now we're leading the way with today's global standard. Our 40-year history of innovation has taken us from barcodes to the wireless networking standards PCs use today. So wireless data is really what Intermec's been doing all along. Identify, track, and manage, Owen. That's our mantra. That's what it's all about. Companies like Walmart and Target are already saying if you want to play ball with us, RFID is the new golden rule. Fortunately, Intermec's been ready to join the game for years. Okay, I get it. This technology rocks. But what's so special about Intermec's RFID? Intermec's ISO and Gen 2 standards allow tags to be read in every country. 
And soon, just about every link in major retail supply chains will have to comply if they want to get an edge over the competition. In a couple of years, retail won't be able to exist without it. All that totally puts us in the RFID driver's seat. Please, stick to the facts. Okay, fact. Intermec tags are rugged and durable, so they can go where barcodes can't. Plus, unlike barcode, RFID tags can be read even when you can't see them. Intermec bakes RFID right into printable labels, so printers can write a barcode and the tag in just one pass. So no more unscannable labels at warehouses? No way. Way. RFID in the cold, in the rain, around a corner, out of sight, but always ready when you need it. Not replacing barcode, making it invincible. So with RFID, supply chain driven businesses can identify, track, and manage inventories better than ever. RFID really does pick up where barcodes leave off. Unlike barcode scanning, RFID can read lots of tags at once. It's accurate, efficient, and secure. Plus, Intermec readers can write and rewrite tags, allowing updatable info to be fed directly into these portable databases. Well, speaking of feeding, can we please get something to eat? Okay, so if Intermec makes writable tags, my family's brewery could really use this stuff. Your family owns a brewery. That explains a lot. <laughs> Actually, our company ships kegs and pallets of beer all over the world. I love that beer. But keeping track of where our kegs and pallets end up is impossible. We lose about 5% a year, and that really cuts into our profits. RFID to the rescue. Huh? Some beer companies are already using the RFID to track everything from the brewery to the store back to the return center. I mean, you can even track every ounce of unused beer in the kegs. Hey, you can get tax credits for that unsold beer. And those savings alone could be enough for an entire RFID implementation. Are you getting thirsty? Yeah, but there's lots more to see. Let's go, boo boy. RFID's changing the way supply chain driven businesses work. In fact, Walmart is already saving money thanks to smarter stock management. And you know what that means. Look, Look out, out for, for falling prices. prices. Hey, speaking of prices, RFID can track stuff from the dock door to the customer floor, but it costs a fortune, right? Actually, Intermec is committed to developing economical passive RFID solutions. Passive? Let me explain. Passive RFID tags are quiet until a nearby reader activates them. When the reader is triggered, it sees one or hundreds of tags and sends a signal that turns the tags on and gathers their information. Then the reader can either share this data with software applications or make decisions right on the spot. So the tag and the reader work together to make that little frequency dance to the beat of our customers' businesses. Wow, RFID is a lot bigger than just counting stuff. Some readers can be programmed to be as smart as our customers choose to make them. Yep, it can help just about any business be a better run business. Okay, let me try one. What if airports used it? Imagine RFID built into luggage labels, on people's tickets, on food carts, pillows and blankets. Heck, put it right on the plane. With RFID, airlines could reduce or eliminate errors, inaccuracies, and wasting time. No luggage handlers needed, because RFID is like a Geiger counter. They can sniff out the right suitcase and get it to the right destination every time. But that's just the beginning. Hey, how about an enterprise-wide solution that could track passengers and help them make their connecting flights? Hold on, Flyboy. The cargo and everything logistical is already using RFID, but we don't make tags for people or animals. However, you can bet your boarding pass that if you're flying a Boeing 787, every part in that plane has been touched by Intermec RFID. See, Boeing uses RFID to track maintenance records and to keep counterfeit parts out of its plane. Now that's flying right. You've come a long way, Grasshopper. Now, here's some what's in it for you info. The Gartner Group, a leader in IT research, says that worldwide spending on RFID technology is set to reach 504 million this year. That's up more than one third from 2004. And spending is pegged to hit three billion by the end of a decade. That's a lot of WIFM. I can't wait to tell my customers about the WIFMIC. What's in it for my customers? Okay, Mr. RFID, break it down for me. Sure, RFID is changing the way supply chain driven businesses do business. How? You can see a ton of great examples right at the loading dock. 
Today, RFID-enabled forklifts steer drivers to the right loads and light their way to the correct dock doors. So no more misshipments. That's good for every customer and every business. Like Boeing, they're using RFID to track maintenance records and keep counterfeit parts out of planes. It's official, Owen. You do get it. Now let's get out there and spread the word.